What is good, Mama Squad, and welcome back to our channel. As you guys can see, it is just me. Today, I'm basically going to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me. I want to, you know, open up with you guys, get personal, talk about um, any questions that you guys have. I did ask you guys on Instagram to ask me literally any questions that you guys want to know because I'm going to come on here and answer them for you guys. I'm literally going to get very personal in this video, but that's what I want to start doing. I want to start, you know, opening up to you guys, giving you guys advice, you know, things that I've learned in my life and things that maybe we could help others out that's what i love about our job i love that we can get on here and like help others or make them smile in any way shape or form and you know even though it's just me on here today you know bill uh, one day is gonna probably hop on here and do the same thing and just get like a guy's point of view like maybe if this does really well for the girls maybe bill can hop on here and you know do a little bit of a boys talk you know give advice or you know guidance because you know as a creator it feels really good to be able to help you guys out in any way shape or form because without you guys we would not be here and you know this is like the best things to be able to like inspire and you know create content for you guys and just entertain you so today you know if you want to see my makeup routine i'm gonna be doing more of like a light makeup routine today not like where i'm not really putting on eyelashes or anything i just wanted to come on here and do a little bit of a girls talk and answer any of the questions that you guys did ask me on instagram if you guys don't follow me on instagram make sure you guys go follow me and bill on instagram so you guys kind of get the scoops of things more and you guys are able to you know connect in this level where you're able to ask me questions and i can answer them so yeah make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button and i hope today's video is able to answer any questions that you guys do have for me i am gonna get personal i am gonna get personal i'm gonna get deep i'm gonna be real and honest with you guys about a lot of things and i you know i hope that it can help you guys in any way shape or form or you know you guys can learn a little bit more about me um i do have my pink drink shout out to my bestie julia for getting me addicted to them again but i need a little bit more energy yeah guys make sure you guys are watching all the way through because i'm gonna be answering some pretty juicy questions and you know this might be a little bit of a longer video but i feel like it's gonna be fun because you guys know this is me and bill's channel so it's not really like just me talking it's always like you know bill's in it so it's kind of fun that i'm able to kind of connect you guys and like on a different level and you know just talk to you guys you guys are family so i feel 100 percent confident in talking with you guys and just like not feeling like weird you know because you guys make me feel comfortable you guys are wondering what i use for foundation i use the nar matte foundation just because I do have oily skin and I feel like I need that extra that just the matte because if it's like dewy it kind of my face just gets really oily quick so if you do have oily skin of course this piece right here I guess I'll just leave it there. I don't really care. Sorry, guys. I look like an idiot. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll put a body pin in. Body pin it back so it doesn't look too bad. All right, guys. So the first question. Also, if I'm not looking directly into the camera, it's because I'm looking literally right into my mirror right here so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to try to look at the camera as much as I can. But if I am looking off camera, that is why. So the first question is body positivity. And this is actually from my old hometown friend, Ariana. We were actually just talking about this the other day. I feel like a lot of us girls and even men, obviously we all look at ourselves every day we see ourselves every single day so when you see yourself every single day you start to pick at the things about yourself you know and a lot of people obviously will look at you and be like oh my gosh why do you like feel that way about yourself like you're beautiful like I love your body I wish I had your body but in the eyes of yourself and you're looking at yourself every day you stare at yourself you look at every single little detail about yourself and you just start picking at it like oh I wish I you know had a small or forehead or I'm just I'm just giving examples like oh I wish my stomach was flatter or I wish my thighs weren't like look like this like, you just start picking at things about yourself and you know what I realized was that I would look back at like old pictures of myself from like two years ago and I'd be like wow I can't believe that I ever picked at my flaws because I looked so good I was like I was so skinny and you realize like wow why did I spend so much time picking at the things on myself when I actually like looked good and that's the thing like you guys you have to realize is like appreciate your body where it's at now because when you grow up and you grow older and older your body does change like that is just a common thing your body changes you know you grow up you get older which nobody wants to get old but you know just in advance 
advice is just like appreciate the body that you do have and just appreciate yourself. I know it's really hard and I know, you know, a lot of people struggle with it, but like God created you to look like the person that you are. So why not just live the best life and, you know, love your body the way that it is and grow with it, you know, work with it. See, you know, if there's things that you want to change about yourself, which is maybe eating better so you can get skinnier, then do that. But like the greatest advice is just appreciate the body that you have and don't try too hard to like compare yourself to others because the thing is, is everyone has their own insecurities. Everybody has their own flaws and, you know, nobody's perfect. And, you know, to them, you might think they have the most perfect body, but to them, they might think like they have the worst body ever. Just stay positive and just know that you are beautiful and God created you the way that God created you. And that's unique. Okay, the fact that you're you, you are your own unique person. So just freaking represent it, okay? Everyone is beautiful, you guys are all beautiful. And that's one thing that I wish everybody had because I feel like we all go through that phase. It's hard to stay positive about your body, but you know, that was just the best advice that I can give is just to stay positive and just know that you are beautiful and God created you for you. So you might as well just love yourself and love the body that God created you to be. And I also just want to say this too, and I'm going to be personal with you guys. You know, this is honestly like, I feel like kind of big for me to be able to get on camera and just talk by myself because ever since I was little, like I just, I don't know if anyone else had this and I'm just going to be completely honest. I used to get pulled out of classes for like speech. It wasn't that I wasn't able to like talk or whatever. Speech basically for me was just like comprehension and learning to like get my emotions out kind because I feel like I have so much that I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. And so me being able to like get on camera, I would say like YouTube has really helped me like not be so shy and you know, talk, like being able to talk to others. And I feel like that's one thing I'm really grateful for is I just feel like YouTube and being on camera all the time has really taught me how to like just talk. But I will say if I do struggle a little bit to get my thoughts out, that is why I've always struggled with that ever since I was little. I got used to get pulled out of classes, which I was so embarrassed about. But just know if you are one of those people that do need extra help in school or you know you do get pulled out of classes, don't feel embarrassed because you know there's so many people who also go through that and you know everyone struggles with their own thing. And I just don't want anyone to feel like they're they're not good enough because they are, you know, getting that extra help because honestly, I'm really glad I had it extra help. I'm glad I got that extra push that people were actually actually cared about me. So, you know, just try to stay positive with that as well. But um, I don't know, this is just big for me to be able to talk on camera and just like talk, you know? It's something that I never thought I could ever do just because I am like so like, I'm not shy, but like I am shy, but yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna get on to one of the biggest topics, which is periods. People wanna know like, what age did you get your period? What was the story of how it happened? I'm gonna talk about like tampons and stuff like that. So basically, I got my period, I think eighth grade. I think I was summer, actually it was summer after I graduated eighth grade and I was going to freshman year. Um, I got my period right before freshman year, I'm pretty sure, or it was eighth grade. I don't remember, but I was definitely young. I was in the bathroom and I, got blood in my pants and I like on my underwear and I'm like mom I'm like I got my period and my mom I don't know what it is with moms but they get so excited when their kid first gets their period so my mom was like oh my god my baby she got her period she was telling my sister and she was telling everyone I'm like mom you're embarrassing me but like don't feel embarrassed when you do start it because every girl gets their period and honestly it's just human it's 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 a lively girl thing yeah it was definitely like i was like oh my god and i wore pads for a really long time because i was honestly really scared to use a tampon yeah that was like say, my first period story so i basically got it i don't know what what age it is when you're in eighth grade so if you do know that you guys could probably do the math I used pads for the longest time because I was really scared to use a tampon. Like, really scared. Like, that is like one thing I was so scared about. Thought it was gonna hurt. The best advice is to have somebody that you are really close with, or even if you don't have a mom figure in your life, or you don't have a sister, you know, maybe it's your aunt or it's your grandma. I know it's weird, but if it's someone you're close with and that you feel like you that can help you in that way, ask them because I promise you, it's so much easier when someone's able to sit there and help you and teach you how to use one. Um, my mom helped me with it and honestly I love tampons I really recommend the organic tampons I feel like everyone has an opinion but I feel like the organic tampons are a little bit more like cleaner like as in like there's not a lot of those toxic 
things to a tampon. But yeah, I really recommend organic tampons. I feel like it kind of helps with your period a little bit because you're not getting those toxins in your body like the normal tampons. The organic tampons are a little bit more expensive, but I promise you they're so worth it and I love them. They really, they really change the game and I love them. I love organic tampons. But just know it's okay. If you can't use a tampon, it's okay. I don't like pads because I don't like, I feel like I'm sitting in my blood, but I think pads are just as great. And if you can't use tampons, that is totally okay. I have friends who can't use tampons and you know, they love they love their pads. So it's totally okay if you can't use a tampon. So now I'm just going in with concealer. I use the Tarte concealer. And also I know you guys have questions like how do you deal with your periods? Like what do you use? So I know a lot, some people don't believe in like medicine, but for me, I get really bad period cramps and I was on birth control for a really long time, which I did get off birth control because it really messed with my body in it. I don't know. There was just this one day I was on birth control and I thought I was dying. And that's like the one scary thing that I just didn't like. It didn't work with me. And I know some people birth control has changed their life and they love it. It just did not work for me. It really really hurt my body and I'm just really sensitive in general so it just affected me in a really negative negative way and I don't want to scare anybody who are on birth control or want to use birth control because honestly birth control is so different for everybody that birth control could have probably been amazing to somebody else but for me it just didn't work and it didn't mix well with me so I got off of that and that's when I realized like my period cramps got worse because you know your period basically controlled by birth control so it's like you get like a schedule period so when you get off of that your normal periods that you would get are on different days now and it's like it's all mixed up so I experience really 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 excruciating period pains they gotten better now but I usually take Advil the first two days to kind of cope with it because for me I need it like I need Advil or I'm gonna be in mega pain I also use a heating pad too some days if I'm just like chilling in the house or you just go in the hot shower and just let the shower hit your stomach that's a good way to cope with bad period pains but yeah I I experienced pretty excruciating period pains but it really only lasts me like a day or two so the best advice is you know if you do believe in medicine and take medicine just the first few days that you need it to kind of cope with it or use a heating pad or get yourself in a warm shower that feels really nice for me I love doing that that's basically my best advice for periods I hope that could help anybody okay here's a question why do girls feel the need to live up to boys standards so I feel like us girls just want to feel loved in any way shape or form so they go to these men for that attention and for that you know feeling of loved and feeling good enough and that's like one thing I feel like we all struggle with is living up to other people's expectations. You can't love somebody else if you don't love yourself. Live up to who you are as a person. If a boy doesn't like you for you, then he's not worth it. Do not change yourself for any guy just for them to like you. Don't wear makeup because a guy thinks you look prettier with makeup. Don't live for somebody else live for you because at the end of the day all you have is yourself and if you don't love yourself and you don't love who you are as a person you're gonna want to live up to these guys expectations and you're gonna be unhappy because you're you know trying to be good enough for these men but just live up your life for you and be you and I promise you like I promise a guy will come into your life and love you for you and you don't need a guy to make you happy okay none of us girls need guys to make you happy you know be happy with yourself and love yourself and if getting your nails that makes you pamper yourself, do that. Because I promise, like, living up for you and only you. And then if a guy comes in your life and loves those things about you, it makes the relationship so much better. It doesn't feel like you're trying to be somebody that you're not. And it just, it's a way more healthier relationship that way. So I just feel like girls, the reason why they live up to boy standards is because they feel like that's what they need to do to be loved. But it's not. Because I promise you, there's so many guys out there that will love you for you. So this one's a little bit more personal. So someone ask tips for shaving down there <sighs> so my tip is you know it all just depends on the person like first of all if it's the guy that you are with you know likes you shaved then you know you kind of just talk with your significant other about that but if also you're not in a relationship and you are single and you need tips on shaving what I use I use a razor and I I just go in there and you know just shave but I'm really careful if you wait if you need to like sit down on like a stool or something and, you know prop your legs up so it's easier I do it standing up just because I've done it for so long but 
But you know, my first time was really hard. I don't even remember my first time shaving. Be careful, you know, maybe use shaving cream. Use a lot of soap. Don't do it dry, because if you do it dry, you're gonna get a lot of razor burns. What I noticed is do not shave every day. Like let your hair grow out longer before you shave because you will get really bad razor burns and cut yourself. Trust me, like I will not shave unless my hair is longer and it doesn't hurt because it will hurt if you shave. But recently someone did ask me, in specific areas, do you think laser hair removal is worth the pain? So I have been getting laser hair removal and oh my gosh, guys, that has changed my freaking life. I barely grow hair down there. I barely grow hair in my armpits anymore. It does take multiple sessions to achieve like the no hair goal. But Marble Squad, let me just tell you, it is worth the pain, it is worth the experience. Yes, it is very painful, and I will say, you wanna scream, it hurts. It does hurt. Some people, you know, they say that it actually doesn't hurt, but for me, I have sensitive skin, so it hurts. But it's so worth it because I don't get razor burns anymore, I barely have to shave, and once I'm, I'm almost done with my session, so once I'm done with that, I shouldn't have to shave for years. When you get older, you do have kids and stuff, your body changes and you might need like a touch up, but laser hair is so worth it if you don't want to shave and you want like an easier route. That is the way to go. I don't really know any other tips about shaving. It kind of also just depends on what you like and what you prefer. If you don't like like bare down there, then you know that's up to you. And there's many ways to you know work around it. Maybe just trim it up, whatever feels comfortable for you. But if you are the type of person that wants to shave, just be gentle, be careful, and make sure you are using you know a lot of soap or shaving cream so it's not dry and it you don't cut yourself easily all right guys I did just take a second break I did just put the hula bronzer on I'm just blending it out right now getting it you know blend it out so the next question is how do you find slash make female friends that aren't terrible and backstabby <sighs> this one's a tricky one because I've been through so many friendships where they failed or they either left me or they've you know just switched up and changed and it, you know it's really hard to make girlfriends but what I've realized is when you make a friend, keep that friendship between you and that friend. It gets tricky when you start adding multiple people in the group, but it all that indicates whether you keep the relationship separate. If you're able to keep the relationship separate and only focus on your relationship with them and you're not like comparing yourself or, there's just so many things. But basically a good friend will be there for you through thick and thin. They will support you. They won't make you feel bad about yourself. They won't try to change you. They're gonna love you for you, they're gonna support you, they're gonna hype you up, they're gonna be literally your best friend. Someone who is always there for you, you're able to call them and they pick up the phone and they're there for you and they support you and they love you unconditionally. And that's one thing like I've noticed about my friendships with people. I have three solid best friends. But there is one in particular, which I'm just gonna give a shout out to Julia. I love her so freaking much. She's really, she came into my life at a really good time and she really showed me what a best friend looks like. Like she really is somebody that I trust with literally my life. I love her so much. I, we were really just talking about this, but she's like my soulmate best friend. Like I love her. She just really showed me what a best friend looks like. And it took me till I was 23 years old to find my best friend. So if that kind of helps, you know, you go through so many friendships and you realize who is there for you through every single life change and if that person's there for you to dig it then they're a best friend they're good friends it's just really hard to find a friend that isn't backstabby and terrible but i just noticed keep your circle small that's why i have three good friends that i know that are always there for me don't trust everybody don't tell everybody your business all the time and you know really grow that connection with that friend first and then you can start trusting and you know opening up if they're there for you they love you unconditionally and they support you that makes a good friend Okay, next question. Also, I'm using the Kylie blush for my blush. Best way to budget with low income. So the best way to budget is when you do get your monthly check or your two week check, take at least 20% of that and put it into a savings account. Put it into something where the money that you won't touch or you put half of the check in to a savings account and then maybe spend the rest on something else. You have to make sure you can budget and save money and you know put aside money away that you are not gonna touch or use 
So then, you know, you're not going through that thing where you accidentally splurge and you spend all your paycheck in one sitting. So make sure you just put your money away and, you know, you do save that money for, you know, the future and just building. It's good to build when you're young because the worst feeling is, you know, feeling like you're struggling with money. And I just want to help anybody who is, you know, struggling just to, you know, save and work as hard as you can. You are doing great and it's okay if you're not making a lot of money right now. If you are young and you are starting off, it's okay. You're going to get through it. You're going to just push through it just save 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 it's not about buying a whole bunch of things right now like it's all about saving and growing yourself so that in the future you're gonna really be thankful you did that then that's your time to spend you can splurge a little bit i'm not saying don't splurge but just save your money and just really put away at least a good amount of money from your paychecks every week or every two weeks or whenever you do get your paychecks and don't touch that money do not touch that money and just watch it just work its way up and it's gonna feel so cool it's so motivating seeing your numbers go up, 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 and having a goal. So say you want to save like $500 and you want to get to that $500 mark. Once you get to that $500 mark, you're like, okay, let me see if I can reach a thousand and then maybe 2000, 3000, 4000. And it's just like a really, it's really motivating. And I will never forget when me and Bill started social media and we would like have our goal. Okay. We want our bank account to have this much money in it. And we would just, you know, keep growing, 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 growing. And it takes a lot. It takes a lot to not want to spend that money, but it is so rewarding when you see the bank account go up. So that is my best advice. All right, guys, so I just contoured my nose. I'm just blending it out right now. But basically, the next question was first time story time. So before I get on to this topic, I just want to say me and Bill did obviously have sex before marriage. But I just want to say I support anybody who is either saving till marriage or doesn't want to save until marriage. Just know whether you are one of those people, I love you. And if you are a private person that saved until marriage, I'm so proud of you for, you know, doing that. I feel like that really helps you connect with the person because it shows like that's not what it's all about in a relationship. Obviously, love is something that you do need in a relationship where you just like the affection and the like touchiness is just like, that's like something that you need because it makes you connect with them more. But the sex part, like I think that that's just amazing that people are able to do that. And I give so much credit to them and I support you guys. I think that's awesome. I think everybody should save till marriage. But if you if you don't, that is totally okay too. Obviously, I wasn't the one that saved till marriage, which I wish I did. But it's okay, you know? Life happens in its own ways. You know, me and Bill obviously did it. We actually did it really quick, which I mean, I'm just being completely honest with you guys. Like we did it within like our first two weeks. I think no, I think it was a month of us like dating. And it was after work one day. <laughs> And the thing is, we didn't really want to go home to our parents' house just because we were a new relationship. They didn't really like let us like, I mean, they let us hang in our bedroom. My dad didn't care, but Bill's mom and their family kind of told us like, keep the door open. And it was just like, I didn't feel comfortable. I really didn't feel comfortable. I really respect like Bill's family enough that I just could never do it at his house. I don't know, we were just so like in our feels this one night after work. If you guys don't know this, me and Bill used to work together at a grocery store called Mariano's. It was just like, we were just feeling like the love. The love was in the air today and we actually did it in the car yeah so we did it in the car and i wish we did it because it was it means like it's more special when you do it in like the house or in the bed or whatever you do it but you know it's special to us because that's where we obviously first had sex bill obviously wasn't my first person i was in a relationship before him for like three years two to three years i don't really remember how long but yeah besides that we did it in the car and it was honestly it was so cute because we turned on music we turned on at the time we loved Khaled. we had like a playlist that we listen to all the time in the car and we're like no better way to do this besides just to turn on the music and listen to Khaled so we had the music playing and it was honestly just really good it was really good even though it was in the car it was really really good and the only thing that happened was was we were having protective sex and you know the thing broke kind of broke that was a little bit scary but I was on birth control at the time so I was a little bit more eased and I was like okay that's fine I was like damn this really had to happen the first time like what are we like what the heck but yeah our first time was honestly really special and i do really loved it i loved it i just love you know it just grows you closer to the person i don't know it just it, i loved it but yeah that was basically our first time story it was all around really really good and it was really special and he really like took care of me and he calmed me down and he just like he's just the best i love him so 
so much. Like he is literally the best. And you want to find a guy for your first time with a guy that loves you and you know who isn't just in it for that. Like you will, you kind of can tell when they are because if they like only are trying to be touchy with you all the time and you guys are just like first starting to talk and stuff like it's kind of a well I feel like some people are more clingy so I can't really say that but like you kind of can tell in a guy if they're you know about that but yeah that was basically our first time story time but now I'm going in with the Anastasia brow pen I feel like I'm not speaking well I don't know why I'm in my head I'm you know I get this like the one another question is do you ever get insecure yes I feel like my insecurity is being able to like speak better I wish I could talk better not say um and like all the time it's just really hard for me and I've always struggled with that my whole life I get insecure I pick at things about myself and I'm like oh I wish I wasn't like that I start feeling like people don't like me and like I just I get in my head and I feel like that's with everybody but just remember you are who you are and that's just one thing that I struggle with is just like I wish I could speak better but I feel like I have come a long way than where I was when I was first like starting social media and like just talking in general like I feel like I really have come a long way it's just not as scary anymore but I still feel like I struggle with it just a little bit and that's like one of my one of my insecurities and one of my flaws I feel like is just wishing I can speak better and talk better and not repeat myself if you guys want to know one of my insecurities there you go I just basically gave you it okay here's a good one how do you deal with panic attacks so I didn't really start getting really bad anxiety until honestly I moved out of my parents house well actually it started there I feel like it started when me and Bill was like starting social media and we were running our own business and we were living with our parents and we always felt like everybody was in our way or we didn't have room we felt like people were judging us it was just sort of so much and I feel like that's when the build-up started that's when I started like forming anxiety and getting more anxiety I think I've always struggled with anxiety even when I was little because before I would go to school I would get really bad stomach aches because I'd be so nervous and anxious I feel like it was very mild and not as like intense but it started getting more intense the more I grew up and so I started getting really bad anxiety this was like when we were about to move out of our parents house and then it got worse after we moved out of our parents house so I'm like oh my god this is real life like the more I got more anxiety because I was doing more adult stuff that's when I really started breaking out so I would like freak out about that I really got my first panic attack I'm trying to remember when it was but it was really scary and the first person I called was Julia because you know Julia has experienced it before and I just called somebody that kind of knew that kind of knew me and knew how to like help me Obviously Bill was there too But like I needed like an extra person who has experienced panic attacks because Bill doesn't really struggle with that So it's like he doesn't know how to like deal with it when it happens He was so new to it So I called Julia and you know she like calmed down told me that I wasn't dying And that's the one thing you got to remember is when you're in these panic attacks You're not gonna die It feels like you're gonna die because you can't breathe you start panicking you like feel like you're gonna pass out But just sit down sit up take really deep breaths put a cold towel on your neck and just breathe like that's the best thing to do is just breathe and just to tell yourself you're not dying either and you are okay that's just how I deal with them I you know I don't get them very often anymore I did get them every once in a while but recently I haven't had them which I'm really happy about but just know if you are going through a panic attack just to keep reminding yourself that everything's okay and that you aren't gonna die that's one thing you got to train your brain is you're not dying you're just going through a little bit of an episode and and you're gonna be okay and I'm gonna be open with you guys I take anxiety medicine and but that has really helped me some people just need that extra kind of like help in a way it's not that you're you, you need help or you can't handle it yourself it's just some people just need that extra and I need the extra I I struggle with anxiety I struggle with panics I struggle with like my stomach always hurting and just like always being anxious and sad and it, it really has helped me it's really calmed me down it's made me not overthink so many things like I feel like I've really grown as a person it's honestly really helped me so if you know you guys are debating and going on anxiety medicine and you know you want you maybe want to depending on how bad it is and you feel like you need it I think you should try it because honestly it's really helped me and I I feel like a lot of people look down on medicine and they're like oh like you shouldn't have medicine control you like you don't need medicine but it's like some people just need it and for me I needed it and it honestly really helped me and I'm really glad that 
you know, I put my feelings first and I listen to my body because I, your body knows best. Okay guys, so now I'm on to my eyeshadow. I just did my brows. Um, that's one thing I've been trying to perfect too is my eyebrows. Um, it's definitely weird when you do eyebrows for the first time and you're not used to it. But now I'm going in with ColourPop. I am using this pink right here. I want to try doing this thing. It's like a euphoria look. I don't know if you guys know I've been doing a lot of euphoria. I love euphoria. I literally my favorite show ever. So I'm trying to like do this thing. So I'm going to start doing that. But someone asked me, have you ever gotten bullied? And can you give some advice on how to get through it? So I honestly was bullied a lot. In high school and even though like I was friends with a lot of people I got bullied a lot and that's like one thing that's one reason why I say keep your circle small because you don't have to go I mean you're gonna it's experience bullies even whether you keep your circle small or not it's so hard because I used to get like Facebook pages made about me like kill the twins or like just stuff like that like it was like insane and it's honestly just really hard because I struggled with that my whole high school life it was really really it's really 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 difficult to like push through something like that but just know these bullies that are bullying you are unhappy with their own lives they feel like they need to go to somebody else and bully the other person so just know they're going them bullying you means that they're going through their own problems they are unhappy in their own life they feel like they need to drag someone else down with them because their life isn't going the way they want and i feel like that is just so sad that people feel like they have to do that but that's just some way of people's coping and if that's their way of coping just remember that high school bullies won't mean anything when you're out of high school. Trust me. Like, I know it's hard to ignore it, but you know, if you show them that it doesn't bother you, that's the best way to get a bully to back off. Just look the other way. Who cares? Let them say what they want to say because they're happy in their own life. They try to, they're trying to drag you down with them. Don't let them drag you down with them because you're stronger than that. You're more worthy than that. And once you show them that that, that, that doesn't affect you and just uh, shrug your shoulders, okay, that's fine. That's it's fine that you feel that way. Like bully me all you want. It doesn't affect me. I'm happy in my life. I love my life. Even if you are struggling with like loving yourself and stuff like that, I know it could be harder, but trust me, the best way to fight a bully is to not let it affect you. Show them that it doesn't affect you. That will eat them alive. Trust me. I've done it before. It has. Ignoring them and looking the other way is the best way to deal with the bully. All right, next question is, how do you start losing weight or eating better? I'm having a hard time. So the best way, you know, everyone's body is different. Just like kind of cutting out like sugars or, you know, like maybe eating like so many, like if you go out and you eat a lot of ice cream or like cookies, you know, just really look at your sugars, your calorie intake, your carbs. You know, there's, I, I really realized that carbs are not as bad as you think. There is bad carbs and there's good carbs. And I've been learning throughout the way just really like i'm not a workout pro i've been learning throughout the way and i've just been learning to like know your body and know what works for you you know what might work for me might not work for you but basically for me is i just i watch my carbs i watch my sugar and i'm making sure that i'm honestly eating a lot of protein 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 is key especially if you're trying to gain muscle and you're trying to like get lean and just like all that stuff protein is your best friend it helps grow your muscle it helps you know just so much stuff just start just start start cutting out maybe if you're eating five cookies maybe you only eat one cookie a night like just slowly start to you know eliminate things that are unhealthy in your life and go to the gym maybe three four times a week i go monday through friday and then i take saturday and sunday off going every day does hurt your body you want your body to be able to like recover and get your muscles back because you do get sore so yeah just start just go and i promise you like make sure you take before and after so you're able to kind of look back and see the growth you know it is hard to start and you like get discouraged and you feel like you're not seeing progress you just got to push through it and get through that first like nudge and then once you start seeing progress oh my gosh it is so rewarding it's the best feeling in the entire world just start start limiting things that you feel are unhealthy for your body that doesn't work but also make sure to eat okay that's one thing i've learned i always thought oh if you eat less you lose more weight and blah 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 blah, blah. no you need to eat you need to eat 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 when your body's hungry you need to eat because that's how you gain muscle that's how you gain the growth that you want so just listen to your body and eat don't starve yourself don't deprive yourself just make sure you eat that's another really big tip all right guys so i'm putting on my eyelashes i'm gonna let this eyelash glue dry but i'm gonna answer like a couple more questions only probably like two more um but i am gonna show you guys like my final makeup result and my hair and everything okay so what are some ways i can keep my face clean like so i don't break out with pimples so i 
especially in high school i never really struggled with acne until i got older which was now and um a couple months ago i had really bad acne now you know i was going through so many different skincare type like face products and nothing worked but I started using Proactive and Proactive, you know, it does dry out your skin, but I have like a lot of moisturizer that I use. But guys, Proactive, literally, I know you guys see like somebody ads are like, oh, it changed your life. It had literally changed my skin. Like I get no pimples and it's amazing because I was struggling so bad with acne for like months and months and months. And it was so embarrassing and I was so like, maybe so insecure. And then I finally found Proactive and I'm like, it is amazing. And all the people that I know that have been using it have said the same thing. Like it had really helped their skin. So if you're looking for a good skincare, I would really try Proactive. Obviously things don't work for everybody, but for me, it really worked and I absolutely love it. It is so amazing and I recommend it for everybody. So someone asked me, is showering, is not showering every single day weird? So I don't think it's weird. I, sometimes I will go a day without showering, but for me, I just, I like showering every day just because I feel more clean and I don't feel dirty. I just like to smell nice. I mean, even if you don't shower a day or two, it's, you're not gross. It doesn't make you weird or gross because I do it sometimes. Everyone does it. I don't think that you have to shower every single day, but if you're the type of person like me who likes to feel clean all the time, then I would shower every day. But if you aren't the type of person that you feel clean, like even if you don't shower for that one day, that's not weird at all. Honestly, it's not weird. And as long as you know you don't smell bad or you feel good, that's all that matters. All right guys, so here is my end makeup and hair results. I basically just put my hair in a little claw clip. I did like a lighter pink lipstick. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's a little too bright for me. I don't know, what do you guys think? Write my makeup look down below. It's obviously not my craziest makeup look that I've ever done, but it's definitely just more simple. The lips are a little bit more crazy than usual, but this is definitely, the lips are definitely more. But I'm gonna answer one more question before I hop off here. So basically somebody asked me how to get over a guy slash breakup. So I've honestly been through a really hard breakup and this was before Bill and I was really depressed. I wasn't eating as much. I was like, I was just not me and it was really hard. The thing is, is you gotta grieve, whether it's crying or like going outside and like throwing something or punching, like going to like the gym and like wearing, like trying to find something to cope with it. Like it's okay to grieve, like it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel sad. You kind of need to grieve in order to recover because like that is just something that like I've learned like just cried out like obviously you don't want to show you wish you didn't have to show that emotion but like it's okay to cry it's okay to grieve especially if you guys have dated for a long time or even if it was something even worse than that and I just feel like a good way to get over a guy is to realize like this guy came in your life for a reason he taught you a lesson he taught you maybe like what you want in the future with the guy or maybe one day you guys will be back together you know let God puts these people in your life for a reason and you know whether they're there to stay or not it's a good life lesson and I know I've, I've learned a lot with the past people that I've been with and I've learned what I want what I don't want and you know it might take a while for you to get over a guy but just know you are worthy enough by yourself you don't need any guy to make you happy you don't need any guy to make you feel worthy enough you are beautiful and awesome just the way you are and it's okay just remember it's okay to grieve to get over a guy basically just you know don't look at their photos for a while until you're finished like you're finally over him don't stalk him don't do anything that's gonna like bring back memories just try to like eliminate him for a little bit and try to like stay far away from it just so you're not constantly seeing things but yeah it is hard it's really hard to do those things it's really hard to take advice and to do it but you're gonna get through it you're gonna push through you're gonna find yourself through this and there's just know there's so many more other guys out there that's gonna love you and care for you so i hope you guys enjoyed today's little like girl talk i don't know how long this video is i'm sorry if i was like all over the place when i was talking it was honestly really hard to multitask i feel like i'm gonna multitask multitasking but i'm not really good at multitasking because i already struggle with my speaking so like me just like speaking and also trying to like do my makeup was a little bit tricky but i really enjoy being able to come on here and help you guys any way to perform or just like getting coming a little bit more open with you guys i want to do like another one of these maybe in the future where i answer other questions i know i didn't answer you guys had so many so many amazing questions that i wish i could answer on video but i maybe i'll do for my instagram story maybe i'll do like a part two on my instagram stories so make sure you guys go follow me on instagram and i can answer any questions that you guys have other than these leave them down in the comment section too maybe i'll go through and you know talk to you guys in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed this i really like to get personal with you guys and 
to get to know me a little bit more and know that like I'm here for you guys and I love you guys so freaking much. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys got a little bit of a makeup routine and how I do my everyday makeup. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for being so supportive and so sweet. I really love you guys so freaking much. And if you guys want another video like this, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace. Love you guys.